for the news. Good afternoon. This is the CDC New Brunswick News. I'm Andy Wilson. A 19-year-old St. John man is now facing an upgraded manslaughter charge in the death of Anthony Dwyer. Will Jordan was originally facing an assault charge after an alleged altercation between the two men Friday night outside Market Square. Family and supporters of both men packed the St. John courtroom this afternoon for Jordan's bail hearing. The CBC's Julia Wright was there and has this report. It was standing room only at St. John Provincial Court today as sheriffs warned people they would be removed if there were any outbursts. William Jordan was originally charged with assault causing bodily harm, but today that charge was replaced with one of manslaughter. He's been in custody since his arrest, but with no criminal record and roots in St. John, he was released on bail in conditions to keep the peace. There was a lot of emotion in the courtroom. Family and friends of retired Navy veteran Tony Dwyer wiped away tears. A friend of the family, Lori Manzer, said the truth of what happened is going to come out of the investigation. It's a tragedy for both families, and I, we all want to work together to get through this and find out uh, what happened. Jordan will be in the custody of his parents until his next court appearance on September 10th. That's when he'll enter a plea and elect a mode of trial. But the hard times are just beginning for those who knew Tony Dwyer as they prepared to say goodbye to their brother, colleague, and friend at a funeral service in Salisbury tomorrow. Julia Wright, CBC News, St. John. Sad situation. Very sad. Very, very, very sad. It was quite a day. Yeah, uh, emotionally it takes a lot out of people. Uh, the unknown, waiting, listening, uh, you know, having to face everyone in the court. <clears throat> it wasn't, it wasn't the typical uh, St. Johners crowd that I expected. I expected, you know, uh, St. John is known for poverty and uh, this wasn't in here. This, uh, guy, the kid. He looked like a 15-year-old kid. Yeah, he looked young, uh, but that doesn't have anything to do about it. Uh, an altercation and just need some answers. I mean, I, I've, I've just recently spoken to some St. Johners, random St. Johners, that uh, happen to know uh, this young man's family. And, you know, I hear a lot of good. He hasn't been in trouble with the law. I mean, these things have to factor in, but uh, also there has to be justice. And this is what the court's going to do. And I have to put my faith in, in the court uh, because that's what they do best. I was surprised when I walked in there. It's the first time I ever been inside the uh, new courthouse in St. John. That's quite a place. It's modern, that's for sure. Good God, uh, how many sheriffs? About a hundred? Uh, well, there's a lot. Uh, you exaggerate a lot. I'd say more <laughs> like 50, but... Uh, yeah, it was about 50. But no, there, there is a lot. But remember, there's, what, I counted at least five courts in there. Oh, the St. Stephen, St. Stephen, people in Grand yeah. Charlotte County, they shut down the courts in St. Stephen, so they come to St. John, so that, you know, they need more people. But I was surprised when I walked in there, like in Fredericton, the metal detectors, and they told me, they said, remove your belt, put your belt. I said, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, right. And then he said, well, if you don't like it, get out of here. And everybody removed their belt. I mean, and me, I'm in, I'm in Fredericton. I saw you holding onto your shorts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I lost a few, I lost a few pounds. Yeah. Uh, then we turn around. Um, in Fredericton, okay, his first name, but basically, I feel like a Bart Simpson when I walk in there. They all know me by first name. <laughs> Nobody knew me there. Look at me, what a strange I can't, I can't. I can't say on camera what, what name they do call you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we know. We know what yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, so this is a tragedy. This yeah. is a tragedy. And this is very, 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 very sad. And... Uh, this is not an issue of the vets. 
Oh, absolutely not. This is just a simple altercation. Uh, I mean, I, I don't have any more facts than anyone else has because this is before the courts and we're not going to know anything until it goes to trial. But it appears at the beginning that it was just nothing more than what you said is just a stupid tragedy and it really makes me think about how we as human beings should treat each other. Mm. This doesn't happen every day, fortunately, but when it does, it rips apart everyone. You know, not just on the side of, of Tony's family, but on, on their side as well. You know, this, this kid's never going to be the same. Uh, it's caused... <coughs> You know, the veterans to talk, civilians to talk, everyone, everybody's talking about it in the community because it does, it wasn't a, a, like a random, it doesn't appear to be like a random act of violence or anything no. like that. I, I think we can all relate to that, but when something happens and it doesn't appear as though there is any premeditation, that's what's so hard to understand. And like I said, I could, I could speculate all day, which would be wrong. It'll get sorted out in the courts when the witnesses and whatnot, when they get all their evidence. And th this is all I'm looking for. It's just what the heck happened here? Yeah. Uh, for the record, I was treated good. I predicted that uh, they could be trouble. They oh, you're getting old. That's the problem. You, <laughs> they, they know you can't run, run away. And... <laughs> no, they see the camera. They look at me. They say, you know, you're not allowed to take pictures. And say, yeah. I, know, I, say, I know. I know the rules. Yeah. And... Uh, there was no trouble, they treated me good. And uh, no, there's no good there's no there's no good feeling here. There's not absolutely none. It's uh, just the bottom line is uh, keep your hands to yourself. A little bit of respect maybe uh, towards your, your fellow man or woman. Uh, talk it out, but you know, we're, we're, we all have emotion, we all have different personalities. It's so easy to say that, but everybody's different. You got your hothead, you got your, your timid person, you got your shy person, your going person. Everybody's personality is different, but if this shows us anything, is that the outcome is that anybody, any human life can be taken so easily. We're so fragile that these things do happen, unfortunately.